everyone, welcome to our wellness video. I'm Karen from Inner Harmony and for today I would like to share with you how to lose weight without exercise. There are a lot of misconceptions that we need to exercise more and eat less to lose weight. Unfortunately, that doesn't work that way. It will go to our body to a starvation mode that we should need a balance of right exercise and right nutrition for us to lose weight and what we really want is to lose fat so for today I would like to share with you um, some tips that we can incorporate um, to lose weight without exercise first is eat raw vegetables yes there are a lot of things that we can incorporate by eating raw vegetables and it is because of our insulin resistance. Raw vegetables has a lot of things to do with digestion and with our insulin. It doesn't take much of um, insulin release from our pancreas, which is in fact insulin is a fat storage hormone. So if we have a lot of insulin production in our body, there's a lot of chances for, our, for us to store fats. So raw vegetables doesn't spike the insulin. Or if you really cannot um, eat raw vegetables, then slightly cooked will be um, efficient also to lose weight. Number two is drink water before coffee. There's a lot of um, benefits of having coffee. However, too much of caffeine can really release the hormone cortisol. Cortisol is a stress hormone. When the body senses that it is in a stress mode, whether in a mental, physical, or hormonal stress, now the tendency is it will release a lot of cortisol and it will have a fat storage a mechanism because it senses that it is in danger so now caffeine is also a stressor to our body if taken too much so if you have a, a cup if you have a lot of this um, addiction of coffee I suggest to drink water before coffee so the spike of the cortisol will be less and also if you're taking too much coffee our body is dehydrated so drink uh, water first and your coffee just limit to one cup of coffee and then another water afterwards number three is don't add sugar or creamer so in any kind of beverages and we're talking about coffee here if you are really a coffee drinker limit your sugar your creamer because all of this is form of um, it will insulin or it will spike our insulin so this or the creamer is also a trans fats it's all made of processed fats the sugar itself or the creamer has a sugar as well so you are really taking fats and sugar which, re which is releases also the hormone insulin for a fat storage number four eat protein first protein has a lot of things to do when it comes to fat burning because it uh, promotes satiety and it uh, makes us full for long and it takes a lot of time for the body to process and digest protein protein is the uh, macronutrients needed for our body for repairs so before it is turned into sugar the protein will serve as um, for the repairs for the rejuvenation of cells so it is really not going to spike our insulin so eat your protein first and then take your vegetables and then later on maybe a starch or carbohydrates and small amount of fats Number five, speaking of fats, is eat one quality of fat a day. Yes, some of us are afraid of fats because fat will make us fat. It is totally, it is totally misconception. Fat does not make us fat. It is the sugar that makes us fat. 
because the sugar, as I've said, spikes the insulin, which is a fat storage hormone. And eating good quality of fats, which is come, which comes from natural fats. I'm not talking about um, butter, margarines. I'm talking about avocados, flax seeds, nuts, seeds. That will promote a satiety um, fullness as well. And also it will help the body to burn more fats because our body now is increasing with um, fats helps increase the metabolism, which helps with the fat burning. Number six is read before you go to sleep. Because some of us are using television um, or we are watching TV until we fall asleep. However, television is a trigger for us not to sleep well. Because when the body or when the eye senses that there's stimulus, it will sense to the brain that it's still active. So instead of having a good night's sleep, it is good to read because now the body or when the eye senses that it is in a relaxed in a relaxed mode there's not much of stimulus with the eyes the body senses that there is low activity level so we are not going to be active so the body slows down and that lead us to number seven which is poor sleep so when we have this poor sleep there's a lot of hormones that is activated, which is also a ghrelin. Ghrelin is a hunger hormone. So if we are deprived with sleep for like a day or two, we will feel hungry for the next day because it compensates from the food. So less sleep, more hunger. Number eight is vegetable juice based. For all of us, sometimes they take um, juicing as part of their weight loss diet. However, juicing, sometimes if it's a fruit base, you are taking out the fiber, but you are drinking the concentrated sugar. Fruit is a natural form of sugar. That is fructose. That is from the fruit. Anything that is has the fructose that is coming from the fruit it is pure sugar so if you are going to juice it or to juice or you want to take a juicing detox or any kind of protocol for juicing i suggest to use a vegetable base and one piece or one serving of fruit if you really want to put it in your juice number nine is low sugar fruit as I have said, fruit is a kind of sugar, but there are a lot of fruit that has low glycemic, which means it doesn't affect that much of the insulin, such as berries, strawberries, um, and then blackberries. All the berries fruit are low in sugar, so we can have that as part of our snack. And number 10, intermittent fasting. I can talk about intermittent fasting for like the whole day or for another video but if you really want to promote good weight loss and not just weight loss also for the total overall well-being for body because first if you are having this fasting protocol you are using fat as your energy because there's no food coming in another thing with fasting is it promotes autophagy Autophagy is the, um, it's a scientific term where the body rejuvenates itself. It uses own reserves, old cells, old tissues to um, rejuvenate all of those um, things to keep this body alive. So we are not just losing weight, we are also promoting anti-aging qualities. So for today, I hope I help you a lot on how to lose weight without exercise. So if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And share this video if you know someone who needs help to lose weight without exercise. So I hope today um, that will be a very good tip. And I'm always sending you peace, love, happiness. And always stay healthy, people. Bye, everyone.